Hello, I'm Finlay and you're watching the Run Fruit YouTube channel. I've got a lot of experience of running in different types of shoes over the years, some of which have helped me qualify and race at the Ironman World Championships in Kona twice. I've also worked for Run For It for over 10 years, so I have a good understanding of how other runners have responded to various shoe technologies over the years. You'll see I'm holding the brand new On Cloud Stratus 3 running shoes. You'll also notice mine are a little bit dirty, and that's because On sent me a pair a few weeks ago so I could test them out for this review. At this point, I've run 126 kilometers in them, so I've got a really good impression of what they feel like. So I'm going to be covering how they feel underfoot, how they fit, and what they're best suited to. Hope you enjoy. So what have On done to the Cloud Stratus 3? Well, the midsole still features a double layer of Helion Cloud Tech cushioning, which provides a bit more cushioning than a single layer of the Cloud Tech cushioning. The main and most significant change is that the bottom of the midsole is now closed off, which you can see here. And while that provides a slightly softer underfoot experience, the key benefit of this is that it stops stones collecting, which, let's be honest, has been a bit of an annoyance for quite a few runners. Next, even though you can't see it in the midsole anymore, the propulsive speedboard has been updated with a nylon blend, so it delivers a little bit more energy return and the outsole rubber pads have been changed so they provide a little bit more traction and a little bit more durability in wet and dry conditions. When it comes to the upper, the main changes are to the heel collar and to the tongue, they feature more premium linings. The tongue is actually quite a bit thinner but seems to wrap around the foot more and deliver a more premium feel and fit. If you're wondering, these little pads on the outside here they don't do anything, but they do look cool. There's also been a slight tweak to these midfoot wings, which were very popular in the previous version. So these are designed to offer a little bit more midfoot lockdown. There's also been a change to the recycled content in these. The base material is now made from 100% recycled material. So the important question then, how does the new midsole feel? Well, the answer to that actually depends on what pace you're running at. To explain further, when you're running at slower paces versus steadier paces, the cushioning actually feels pretty different. So when I'm running at slower speeds in this, I did you know, become quite aware of the speed board and it did feel quite firm under my feet. And in comparison to something like the On Cloud Surfer, which we reviewed in another video, that felt a lot softer and potentially a bit more comfortable when you're running at a slower speed. However, my legs felt very fresh at the end of easy run, so the midsole is obviously doing its job and protecting my legs. When you start running steady or a little bit faster in the cloud stratus, the midsole just comes alive. And what I mean by that is the midsole feels equally protective, but the speedboard really starts to work and you really feel that benefit of the propulsion in it. And it's maybe just the case that when you're running at slower speeds, you just don't quite get the same pop from it. So at those steadier efforts, the midsole just feels really natural, really fluid, and honestly, just that little bit better under the feet. Now, the following images are some screenshots of some of the runs I've done in the Cloud Stratus 3, which shows the versatility of the shoe and the different paces that I've tested them out at. Now the long steady run that you saw there that I did at 4, 14 minute a kilometre pace, that actually felt the best run that I did in the Cloud Stratus. The shoe just felt so propulsive and so easy to run in when I was moving at that steadier effort. And what I mean by steady is you're not running hard, but you're putting that your purposeful intensity into it. And it's definitely not easy. And that's when that propulsion that you get from the speedboard really just makes it easier on the legs. And my legs felt incredibly fresh at the end of that run too. So if you've run in the Cloud Stratus before, you'll be able to transition into the new ones with ease. And that's because the midsole overall feels very similar. They are slightly softer, but I certainly wouldn't classify these as soft feeling running shoes. They're very protective, but the main sensation is one of propulsion. What did surprise me was the fact that the midsole feels more stable than the previous version. I'm not exactly sure why this is the case, but when you're on a long run and your form's getting, you know, 
slightly worse towards the end, it was nice how stable that felt and how supportive it felt under the feet. When it comes to the upper of the cloud stratus, I was expecting to feel a little bit more of a difference considering some of the changes, but it does feel quite comparable to the previous model. You definitely notice those premium fabrics, the quality of the construction is absolutely amazing, and it just holds your feet in all the right places and feels exceptionally comfortable. When it comes to a uh, shape perspective, I've got quite broad feet, but my ankles are quite thin and quite narrow, and I find this toe box really accommodating, so it fits a broader foot shape really well, but you get a really nice ankle hold and it locks you in really well around here, and particularly in the midfoot too, so I mean, I'm struggling to find too many flaws in this upper, and I think we can all agree that on running shoes look amazing, but when you look at this upper you can see the amount of technical detail that has gone into it and that's why the cloud stratus 3 also sits at a slightly higher price point because they've not left anything to chance and they've thought through every single aspect of how this has been put together so what are the on cloud stratus 3 running shoes best suited to well at run for it we position this in our connected experience category and that's because they offer a lot of protection, but also have that responsive element to them too. And that means ultimately that they feel really good at a range of paces. So they'll work for your recovery runs, your slower pace runs, those aerobic miles, and then right up to those harder, steadier efforts and even some intervals. So they are an incredibly versatile running shoe that is one of, you know, one of the best all-rounders out there. Personally, I would still say though that they feel best when you're running at a steadier effort and when you're moving with a bit of purpose so it's not an easy run but you're injecting a little bit more pace into your run and if you're wondering about how that would sit in your shoe rotation you would potentially have well I would have a slightly softer shoe for my slower pace runs I would then use these for my steadier paced efforts where I am trying to hit a set target over a certain distance but I would then have my full plated shoes for when I'm doing my intervals and obviously going into my races. At the same time, you may prefer these for your slower pace runs and your longer distances. And that's because some runners just simply don't like the feeling of a soft running shoe under their feet, irrespective of the pace or distance, but they are still seeking some protection. And if that's you, this would be a great option for when you want to take the load off your legs but you like that little bit of a more responsive sensation under your feet. If you're wondering about other on models, if you want absolute maximum protection, then you want to opt for the Cloud Monster because that will feel more cushioned, feel more protective than the Cloud Stratus. If you want that really soft plush underfoot experience, then you'd want to be looking at the Cloud Surfer. If you're wondering how the Cloud Stratus compares to other models, I would say the best shoe that you would put it up against would probably be something like the Nike Pegasus. You've got lots of underfoot protection, but you've got that responsive element to the shoe. And that brings me to the end of this on Cloud Stratus 3 running shoe review. Thank you very much for listening. We hope that has let you know how they fit, how they feel, and what they're best suited to. You can also head over to the Run For It journal and read about this review on there. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure and hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. We will see you next time.